Modern agriculture is highly productive and efficient. It produces the greatest variety of commodities at the lowest prices in the world. Unfortunately, this same production system has often led to economic and environmental problems that tend to counterbalance the benefits. Hi, I'm Dora Clokey. In this video, we will explore the concept of farmscaping. You may ask, what is this strange new term and what does it do for farming? First of all, it uses combinations of things you may be familiar with, such as cash crops, cover crops, hedgerows, roadside plantings, habitat strips, and other creative management techniques to provide sustainable cropping systems. The goals of farmscaping include enhancing biological diversity, enriching soil fertility, drainage, and till, achieving biological weed and insect pest management, and reducing the use of agricultural chemicals. First, let's investigate what biological diversity is and its importance. The first goal of farmscaping is to establish and stabilize the biological diversity on the farm. In other words, we want to increase and then maintain the number of plant and animal species that exist in the soil and above, both in the farm and around its edges. A high level of diversity usually creates a buffer to disease, weed, and insect pest outbreaks. This allows more time for effective management of the problem. Farmscaping is gaining popularity with farmers around the world as a way to improve sustainability of crop production. As we have seen, farmscaping can improve our soil, control pests and weeds, reduce the need for synthetically produced fertilizers and pesticides, and conserve and regenerate natural resources in and around the farm.